So, me and Rob are on our way to Minnesota. Yeah. To go and visit right. Riff City. Riff City. Yeah. yeah. With Joe Leach and Alan Leach and Barb Leach and all the Leaches. It's a massive family of them. I think there's 50 of them. Leaches? Yeah, they run his uh, entire enterprise. Not the ship, the, uh, the business. Owners. That's a lot of Leach. I'm excited to have my first bit of pie over there. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we've already been briefed on the pie situation. It's going to be fast. It's going to be fast, yeah. And also, we're shooting videos with Rick C. I'm blogging with this camera. Oh, yeah. And he's blogging I'm with I'm blogging with my own camera, so we'll have two separate blogs that will be almost entirely identical. They will. But definitely watch both of them. Right? Yeah, because <laughs> you've got nothing else better to do. Anyway, we'll see you in Minnesota. Yeah. We're in Minnesota now. <gasps> Such a big hotel room, it's ridiculous. Joe um, is such a lovely guy. He and Sam, um, it's really late for us British people right now, but he and Sam um, took us out for a really nice dinner and then drove us back to this hotel room, which is this. But actually, it's a massive, massive suite. So, here, this is the living room. <laughs> yeah, which is Macca. Uh, with a kitchen. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, there is actually a kitchen. So this is either for Rob Scallon. It's a huge bed. Because Rob Scallon is coming to hang out. It was a long journey. We finally got here. Um, the flight was shaky for the most. Actually, no. It was uh, landing in Iceland was brutal. I, I would refer to that now as the Iceland incident, and I don't think we should refer to the Iceland incident ever again. <laughs> We've got phone charges by the side of the bed. Have they? Look, you don't even need an adapter, they just got USB ports. In answer to the first part of this video, which was we will continue this video when we're in Minnesota, we're now in Minnesota, so we're gonna go to sleep. Go to bed. Hi, Joe. Bia, did you get some sleep? I got a bit of sleep. Just a bit. This is, I woke up at half four. It's all good though. This is Joe. You all know Joe. This, this is, is Rabia. You all know Rabia. I love this guy. And I love this guy. Like, I think I love you more. Ready? Yeah, it could Let, possibly be true. Can we hug on camera? Rob, Rob wants to drive the truck. Look at this. Do I trust him? Because no. I would let you. <laughs> I would let you. <laughs> you can identify this brand of boxer short. <laughs> Please do so in the comment section below. <laughs> so it's it's morning, it's early. We just turned up at a diner called Kay's Kitchen. And now we're gonna go and eat nice breakfast. Hopefully they have vegan food. Hey, it's morning time with Joe and Rob. Hi, good morning. How Don't forget you? that you can't swear on this video, okay? We yeah, want I know. some <laughs> I just How did you say eggs? <laughs> eggs. 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 This has all got to be bleeped out. Yes. Please bleep it out. I don't want to Friends. ruin... Friends. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> pie. That pie looks like brie. Which one? The white one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is a legit pop receptacle. But your first refill is free. The first one? Yeah. Oh, so you just need to buy the cup. Yeah. I think we're in the way, we need to move. I'm sorry. What's your name? Ch Chiggins. Chapa, Chapa Jackson. Chapa Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> we're shooting video, we're already here, we're doing it. We've already done one video. I thought I'd show you the rig whilst we're doing this because it's interesting. 
So I'm running the Victory Sheriff 22, because I love it, and it's great, and I have one at home. Running into the Victory Sheriff 22, well, the Sheriff cab, so it's got the V30 and the uh, G 1265 and I'm running, I've fallen in love with this. Check it out, it's the Waza Blues Driver. And I'm running it with the level all the way up and the gain all the way down, and it just gives you a wicked saturated boost. And then these amazing things, this is basically a beheaded boss TU3. Here's a TU3S and it's always on and it's cool. And we've just reviewed these bad boys, the GNL guitars, which I've never played, but they're very cool. So that's what we're doing so far. Jackson, I have ever played in my life. So there we go, we finished shooting at Rift City for the morning. Uh, I would like to show you the videos we've shot, but they're going to be going up on Rob's channel, maybe my channel, and Rift City's channel. So, what we're going to do now is go and get some food. He's awesome. Yeah. So the vocal booth is an old safe. Yeah, it's an old safe, and they, uh, it's a. Uh, I mean, you can. It's kind of crazy. It's you know they they thought about taking it out, but yeah, we bolted it open so that uh, no one can get shut in there. Yeah, get shut in there. But yeah, it's, it's cool. Like the, you come in here, and then there's there's old tags still on the wall up here that are dated back into the 50s, where the inspection, the lock service would come in. And then right here is where, when you would come in, if you had, you'd have an air tank on, and if you got locked in, you would be able to hook up to outside air. But some of the Taylors and the Martins are Bobs from years back, so the Martins probably really the most expensive, and that other. Drink. This one here. Yeah. So by Bob, you mean Bobby V? Yeah. Wow. So that was his first band, The Shadows. That's his his brother. That's him and his brother Bill, and. Uh, who their cousin, his son Matt, is the guy who plays with Jeff and Tom all the time. Bob's family, they, they lived in Canada and then they moved down to Fargo thinking it was warmer weather. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. There's tear gas in that He's like, I won't touch 100 year old tear gas, so they're still in there. Where, where, the vials are in there? You're yeah, saying? see those, there's glass tubes in there, so if you drilled through the lock, you'd break the tubes. Oh, what? So, so this is unbelievable. So the, that was their defense mechanism. Is Funk Brothers. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff is huge into the Funk Brothers. He's all about that. Some of these pictures that you see around, like that's Bobby Keys when we did the... He was the Rolling Stones sax player. He, we did that 50 Winters Later concert, the posters out front. That's wow. Tony Aronoff, who drunk, he was oh, the yeah. at that deal. He's and a beast. That Played that for Philip Sace as well. Chuck Lavelle is the keyboard player here with the Stones, and so that's his, yeah, those are all Tom's beauties. Oh, wow. He's now into the Tele basses, and then the yellow ones, I think, is 63 P bass, original. Wow. And then he got into the hollow bodies. That's an actually original, that was, came from the crickets from Joe B, who just passed away. They uh, sent us tracks from the vault um, at EMI, which was Liberty Records back in the day. And so they sent us this freaking hard drive of all the songs that were in the vault. Right. So we had hundreds of songs. We went through and picked the ones that we wanted, and we went through. And it was crazy listening to the recordings because it's act it's all on four tracks. There's only four tracks on in the Pro Tools session. So you'd hear the guy be like, "All right, one, two, three. All of a sudden, boom! There's a string section, and everybody's playing. And for wow. me, it was like this is like cool because it's mm -hmm. like how he layered the bass, how they put stuff on certain tracks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the bass wasn't real prevalent because it would make record players skip and all that jazz. Control room. So, uh, yeah. It's kind oh, of nice. Look down into the library yeah, and yeah. tracking. And oh, wow. So. A couple of distresses there. Yeah. yeah. I picked those up at a, uh, an auction that was some Florida studio went out of business. And I got those and the Genelex and the subs. We've always wanted Genelex. And yeah. Can you tell the camera where you are and what the studio is cool? It's called Rock House Productions. It's in St. Joe, Minnesota. Um, yeah, about just outside of St. Cloud, about an hour north of Minneapolis. Uh, you know, yeah, we, we record all kinds of stuff from, we've had some bigger bands in here like Urge Overkill and some other stuff. 
We've done anywhere from polka bands to you name it walks through the door. So yeah, yeah. Nice. Fantastic. So this is Rock House Productions, which is a studio in uh, St. Joseph, Minnesota. And they, have, as you've just heard, have some really quite a lot of history here and quite a lot of, you know, just great heritage there. So it's really cool to get shown around and the vocal booth being an old vault and it's still having the original tear gas in there and stuff. It's just, it's wicked. Uh, it's really nice to get shown around and uh, it would be amazing to record here, but you never know, one day. Tired. Rob's Rob needs hey, a I just interrupting your video? Yeah, you were. Sorry. I feel like I might have like chili sauce dripping down my mouth. Is that You'd love case? that. No. You sure? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I sacrificed my chili and gave it to Joe. It's yes, an act of pure friendship and instead yes. was satisfied with a bowl of lentil soup and leaves. And now you're tired and need a nap. So tired. We were up at half three, yeah. half four. To shoot video. To shoot video. Half three in the morning. <laughs> I used to go to bed at half three in the morning.